Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am comparing the Huda Beauty palette in the Desert Dusk Rose. Y'all know I got frustrated with it. I tried to use it twice. Love the colors, just really had a hard time putting it on. So I wanted to see how the Shop Hush website did. It had the Bad Habit and Athena. So I want to see how it did. Um, can you tell a difference? Can you tell which eye I used the Athena palette on or which eye I used the Huda Beauty palette? If your answer is no, then I would definitely say go with the Bad Habit Athena palette. I did not have as much fallout as I did with the Huda palette, so really, really enjoyed it. So now I feel like I can get back into this palette, which the reason why I bought it was for the colors. I mean, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. So let's put both palettes next to each other and do kind of a comparison. So if you can see, a lot of the colors are spot on. The only one that I had a little bit of, of that I could tell a difference was this brown versus this brown here. Um, I will say that depending on the pigmentation, either one may have built needed to be built up, but overall I had a lot less fallout with the Bad Habit Athena palette. I'm very excited about using um, the Athena more often because the whole reason why I was crazy about this Desert Dust palette is look at these colors and the shimmers. I mean, they're absolutely fantastic. And so I did go ahead and do one of the things that I hate to do. And if you've watched my channel, you'll probably get, well, I have several things that drive me insane. Um, but I hate finding these beautiful colors and have to use um, like a setting spray or something to make them adhere. I want things to perform like they look in the palette. And you know, this one kind of, doesn't exactly do that. So I did, instead of getting frustrated, I went ahead and did kind of a little semi cut crease and I went ahead and wet the brush with the Scandinavia and patted it on. I had no problem. So maybe my dislike for the Huda palette was just because I wasn't giving in to actually wetting my brush. And so I, I think my YouTube viewers that just said, Amy, just wet the brush. Just wet the brush. So I did this time and I was able to let go of my anger as I was putting this on. So anyways, I really, really like how this color scheme came out. It's very pretty. Um, I love the oranges and the browns and the golds. I think that just absolutely pops. Um, I did use some Kara eyelashes. I think those are a dollar. You can get those at Shop Miss A. For about a dollar but I can't tell a difference between this eye and this eye so you know which palette is which which eye is which 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 so if you want to know which eye did what if you couldn't guess which eye is Huda and which eye is um, Bad Habits Athena then go ahead and stay tuned because you're gonna find out very shortly which I did which eye I use when. I, 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 I. So anyways, I hope you really enjoy this video. I hope it saves my ladies lots of money because again, this Hush website is, or Shop Hush is really putting out some amazing dupes. And I was actually talking to another YouTuber on her channel about dupes. I think she may have picked up this palette. It may have been another one for from Shop Hush. I'll go ahead and put her video below so you can see her video on it. But, um, so anyways, we were kind of chatting on her video about dupes and the bad side to dupes, we both agree, is that, you know, who to put out an absolutely beautiful palette. And then another company came and took that same work that she and her company worked hard to do and did a duplicate. So, you know, that's, that's the hard part about duplicates is that it takes some great work 
and then duplicates it. But here's where I feel better about dupes. And y'all comment below, tell me I'm crazy, um, disagree with me, or you know, agree with me, it's up to you. Um, or maybe you're sitting on the fence, you don't know. Here's where I love these dupes, is this palette is very expensive, and I'll have the price up around here somewhere. So when you look at the average person that enjoys playing with makeup, um, maybe getting into makeup, may have fallen in love with these stunning colors, it's like a jewel box, but they can't afford it. Should they not be able to feel good about themselves? Should they not be able to create um, eye looks and feel gorgeous because they can't afford this? That's where I feel better about the dupes. I am glad to see that there are companies that can put together something that is very similar to the original at a tenth of the price, uh, you know, maybe a 25% of the price. And then that gives the opportunity for the average everyday person to enjoy playing makeup or playing with makeup and creating looks and enjoying the artistry of it. It gives them an opportunity also. And that's where I really like when duplicates happen because again, it gives more a broader base of people that can be touched with the products and they can play also. I don't think that just because if you can't afford a palette that you just are locked out of a beauty community. I don't believe in that. Um, however, I, you know, if I was Huda or the creator of a palette this gorgeous and um, someone came behind me, one of the things that is, is flattering is when people do copy you. I mean, think about even um, some of the recent videos on YouTube. It's one creator trying to recreate another youtuber's look so one of you know you can look at it as a way of flattery that you created something so amazing that someone else wanted to create it also so i you know i do i think the flattery piece of it is really nice and again i like the fact that duplicates give everyone an opportunity to feel gorgeous and beautiful and create so anyways i will quit rambling on and we'll get started so you can try to figure out is this the huda eye or is this the huda eye are they both huda or are they both athena no one is huda one is Athena, and you're gonna about be ready to find out right now. Okay, so the goal is to recreate the Huda eye on this side with the Athena palette. And I normally like to put down my foundation first, but because my the Huda palette does have a lot of fallout, I went ahead and am gonna do my foundation last, and I hate that, but that's what we're gonna do. So we're going to start out with the color Purity from the Athena palette. And that's going to go all over our eye like a canvas. Once we have our canvas down, we are going to pick up the color Velour, which is this peachy color here. And this doesn't seem to be as pigmented as the Huda palette for the same match, but that's okay. Because when I first put it on, I was like, oh my goodness, this is off the hook. So this color is building nice. And I pretty much use the same brush for the whole um, look. Next, I'm gonna pick up this color here called Lore. It's an orange. I have it on one half of the brush, so I'm gonna twist the brush. One of the girls that I like to watch, her name is Ashley. She does that to make sure it gets in the crease, but then kind of in that transition. So hello, Ashley. That's one of the best little suggestions I've picked up. And that color seems to be more bold than the Huda palette. So we're just gonna kind of blend those two together. And then I do have a paper towel that um, I'm just kind of moving the brush on to take off any of the excess. Okay, then I went in with the color, um, looks like Heroic. 
in this palette. And again, I'm just darkening up that crease and kind of bringing it down a bit. Okay, the next color I'm gonna pick up is the color Clever. This color doesn't seem to be going on as dark as the Huda, so this one does need to be built up a little bit more. All right, so it's just going easy. Go Athena. Now I'm gonna pick up the MAC Soft Ochre. I did spray the brush I used for the Nefertiti color. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. And where is that gold? So the goldish color here is called Cunning. Ooh. Spraying that brush really picked it up. Did I use the wrong color? Let's try. It may have been the match, should have been fierce. So we'll go over the top. And I do like this one better. It's a little brighter, which is fun. And we're here to have some fun, right? Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with the color Heroic and just kind of buff that line out. Now I'm gonna pick up the Maybelline Metallic Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner, and this one is in Galactic Metal. Ooh. The Hubs and I are having a date night tonight. All right, on the inner corner of my waterline makeup geeks eyeliner pencil in the color nude then a little bit on the inner waterline which it looks like i may have wiped it off i'm using the master precise ink metallic this one is in solar gold for just kind of a little bit maybe a quarter of the eye. On my little smudgy brush, I'm picking back up the color here called Heroic. And then I'm gonna pick up the color Clever with a handy dandy wipe. clean up around that wing. It's so weird to do one eye at a time. Not quite used to that yet, but it's fun. It is fun. All right, so I'm using my Tardiest Eye Mascara, and I got this out of BoxyCharm. Typical Amy. Now I didn't have to wait for it to dry because I didn't have my foundation on. <clears throat> I'm going to take these Kara Wisp Pound, Wisp, I say pound, what is that? Hashtag Wisp. And because these are more flat, I'm going to cheat and put just a dab of glue there and a dab of glue there. These don't, um, since these are up more flat, I want the glue on this side to stick on the glue on those edges when I sit them down. So that's my little cheat for cheaper lashes so that um, you have an opportunity of really having them sit down instead of popping up because they don't have a good arc. Which if your eyes are flatter, then that's fine. Mine just have that Cupid doll kind of arc, which makes it a little bit harder so the two tacky sides will end up picking up, picking up each other and I'll just have better staying power. So we're gonna let that glue dry. And while we're doing that, I guess I can do the rest of my face and then just kind of talk through the two. I think I like these Kara eyelashes better in the box than I do on my eyes, but you don't know if you don't try, right? 
Okay, so I did put some Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm on my face. That's going to be my primer. I'm not really too, too worried about how well my makeup, um, it, it's going to be a short day, so to speak. So I'm not too, too worried. Now I am going to pick up the Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just kind of put that on my nose since I have issues. My sister-in-law told me to try this, so we're going to try it. Except I probably should try it on a day that I'm going to have my foundation on for a long period of time. Alright, I'm going to pick up the CYO Matte Foundation. So as far as the colors go, I really think they do a, a good dupe, a good match. And once I got the right gold color, this looks really nice too. So I, you know, I kind of needed to get the right color on the brush. Goodness gracious, people. I'm a hot mess. All right, so I'm using the CYO Matte Foundation number 203. I got this on walgreens.com. CYO is supposed to be a boots company or a, a company. Boots made the CYO. How about that? Phew. Oh no, right over the eyebrow. Which I didn't do my eyebrows yet, so that's I guess okay. Holy crap, that looks white on camera. Okay, I will say I feel better now that I at least have foundation on, but man, that does not look good so far. <laughs> it's going to look better, I promise. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to get into the Makeup Geek palette. This one is the Flawlessly Ever After Porcelain Princess Face Palette, and I love that it's a porcelain princess. I'm going to go ahead and use the contour color in here. Ooh. The problem with contouring every day with a different type of contour, you forget sometimes how good these can be. Okay. I'm going to take one of my brushes here from Morphe that's at a slight angle. And we're going to warm up that forehead or five head as my mother used to call it growing up. She always told me I had to have bangs because my five head was too big. And I usually have bangs. Some things just stick with you. All right, let's erase. This is like a magic eraser, right? Erasing the double chin. Did it just like totally go away or what? Are you impressed? Are you impressed? I am. <laughs> okay, so my camera cut out while I was in the middle of finishing up my face and I did finish using the Makeup Geek Porcelain Princess Face Palette and I used all the colors. So I did use the contour, I used both, I mixed both for the blush and I used that as the highlighter, Kapow. On my lips I used the Morphe lip pencil in the color bite me and then i did a combination on the lip glosses from makeup geek and this is the foiled lip gloss this is in color headliner and then i did the foiled color in vip right in the center to give it a little bit of a peachy kind of look so that's how I finished off my face. Um, I usually have a backup battery, but somehow because I haven't finished putting together this room, I have no clue where my backup battery went. So I'm sorry about that. So I recharged it while I was fixing my mermaid hair for my date night tonight with my hubs. But um, anyways, I just want to say thank you for joining the channel and seeing how did the Huda palette stand up to the Athena palette from Bad Habit. And I did buy this on Shop Hush. Shop Hush. I always want to say Shop Miss Say, but that is not where I got this. Shop Hush. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice so you can make it a great one. Until next time.